Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to talk about how to edit HDR footage with your Sony camera. Uh, we're going to go into the hybrid log gamma setting, uh, which is picture profile 10 on the Sony camera. And uh, several Sony cameras do this, the uh, uh, AX700, uh, the a7 III, uh, the a7R3, uh, the new uh, RX100 Mark VI. And so let's get down to it right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your camera picture profiles and you're gonna go to picture profile 10 and you're gonna execute that picture profile. And then from there, go shoot your footage and then we're gonna ingest it into Final Cut Pro. Okay, so you've uh, shot your uh, HDR HLG clips and now you're ready to edit them in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so I got Final Cut Pro open. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna make some adjustments in uh, Final Cut Pro. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to File, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to New, and we're gonna go to New Library, and we're gonna create a new library. So you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Sony. Okay, so now I've done that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the right side of the page, and you see here where it says Modify, where we're gonna go ahead and click that. And what we're going to do here, you can see, we are going to change this from the standard uh, colored gamut to the wide HDR color gamut. So we're going to go ahead and hit change. So that's the first step. And now the second step is going to go back to file. We're going to go back to new and we're going to create a new project. And normally this would be grayed out and it would say standard Rec. 709. You couldn't change it. But now, since we've, uh, uh, cha we're have we changing it to a wide color gamut, we're able to make adjustments. So we're gonna click on this, on this here, and you can see it gives us plenty of adjustments. So for our instant HDR, uh, we're gonna select this last one. For another lesson, we'll talk about this one, where you can actually uh, apply a little bit of color grading. But for our intents and purposes today, we're gonna do an instant HDR. Okay, so we're gonna select that one, and then we're gonna select okay. And now we're all set and ready to go. And now you can just normally uh, uh, ingest your clips into Final Cut Pro as you normally would. So we're just gonna drag a couple of clips in the timeline here. And then let's pretend we've already edited these clips and done your normal uh, whatever you'd wanna do to them. And then I'm gonna show you how to export them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to File and we are gonna go to Share and we are gonna go to master file. And what we're gonna do is we can see it's a 38 by 40, 21, 60 clip, 24 frames per second, 23.98. We're gonna go to settings and we can see our color space is the wide gamut color space like it should be HDR rec 2020 HLG. And then from there, we're just gonna, you would just go ahead and hit next and save it and you'd be all set. Okay. So that's how you do that. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. Instant HDR. Okay, so I get a lot of questions. How do I export this to YouTube? YouTube does have the capability of uh, viewing HDR recorded footage. Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back up here to file, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to share again, and you're gonna go down to YouTube, and you can see I'm already logged into my cars and cameras page. And then you can see here, we're gonna go, oh wait, we have a warning. Now 8-bit Kodak will affect the HDR quality. Well, 8-bit is all the Sony cameras record. So we don't worry about that and it looks great. So you don't have to worry about that one. Now we're gonna go up to settings and we're gonna take a look at uh, our color space. So it is the wide gamut color space. It is Rec 2020 HLG. Okay, this is 4K 3840 by 2160. So we're all set and ready to go and you just hit next and you just upload it like you normally would to YouTube and it's gonna be ready to go. Okay, so now I wanna talk about how to view this properly, this HDR video. You're gonna need an HDR television set and they've really come down in cost. I just reviewed one on my channel and it was under $350 for a 43 inch uh, television. And what's really cool about experimenting with uh, this HDR video is, you know, there's it really makes your videos come alive, but you're only gonna be able to see it properly is if you have a uh, HDR television set. 
Uh, that's the only way you're going to view it. So if you're watching the videos on YouTube, you can use one of these these new TVs that have smart apps. You can go right to YouTube within the television, and you can see the HDR videos right there. So you can upload them and view them. Um, it's it's pretty cool. So, but be aware to see them properly. Uh, you need you know to have that you know HDR compatible device. So that's my quick look at uh, editing uh, hybrid log gamage HDR footage with your Sony camera. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that notification bell if you are subscribed to get my new videos. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day.